Hello and welcome to video number nine and congratulations. First and foremost, you've reached the end of this video course. And this is kind of a bonus because we talked about how to manually optimize your WordPress site. Now we're going to talk about how to automate the process. Now, the reason why I didn't jump straight into this was simply because you need to understand why things are important, what elements you need to have on your pages to make it important because yeah, you can use this system to automate it, but the, the two plugins that I'm going to talk about, some of them will actually automate certain processes like the URL structure, but at the same time, knowing how things work and why th certain things are important is more important at the end of the day, because you're going to understand how to implement these factors. So now let's talk about the two plugins with these two WordPress plugins. You can literally boost your on page optimization on just their free levels. So they both have a free version and they both have a paid version. Now, two of these are very common. The first one you'll most likely maybe already be using it. The second one is not so popular, but they actually work hand in hand. So let me go ahead and show you these plugins and why they are both important. So the two plugins are first Yoast SEO. That's Y O A S T dot com. And if you go here, you can get a better idea of what it's all about, but this is one of the most popular SEO plugins, and this will actually help you optimize your site automatically. So now that you understand the basics, the title, the description on all of that, a lot of times what Yoast will do is if you just create a title and you put that in the title of the WordPress post or page, you click update, it'll automatically fill in the permalink or the URL structure. So, and it'll fill out other data as well as you begin to create your posts and your page. Now that's the free version. The paid version actually takes it one step further and does a lot more. Now I'm not going to cover all that in this particular video because you can go here, you can check it out for yourself. Now, if you want to figure out how to install it, it's very easy. All you have to do is, is go to your WordPress site here and go to add plugins under plugins, type in the word Yoast and you'll see it right here. The second plugin is called SEO Squirrely, as you can see here. So you can do a Google on this, but if you type in SEO Squirrely, that's S E O S Q U I R R L Y. And if you go here, then you can actually download the plugin and there's a free version, which is in my opinion, we've tested it out and the free version is really, really good. And what SEO squirrely focuses on is schema and schema is necessary because that's the way of the future. And it tells search engines what your site is all about and, and more information than that. But the short answer is it just helps optimize your site in a much better way. And now when you go to SEO squirrely, it'll say, you know, our plugin is better than Yoast. And then of course, Yoast, sometimes you might see an article out there. I haven't seen one, but I'm sure there's a comparison and you'll see that they're going against each other. But at the same time, you can either do Yoast or you can do SEO squirrely. Now the, what we've found is SEO squirrely focuses on schema. Like I said, and schema is just a way to make your site appear in the search engines where people will click on your, your link. So if you've seen, for example, the, the ratings, the five star ratings that appear in the search engine that is based on schema. And there's a lot of other different little elements where if you've got on your page, like images and videos and all that. SEO Squirrely will automatically optimize those media types on your page. And we found that we've actually tested this one and Yoast together and they actually work hand in hand. Now they can run into each other based on like the title and the meta description and all that. 
and they can conflict in that realm. But at the end of the day, you kind of need to just pick and choose which one you want to go with and just go with one. So Yoast, I can tell you, will pretty much do everything that we talked about SEO squirrely as well. It just, they typically are focused on different areas. So my take on that is just install them both and just see what happens and use them both and go from there.